everybody and welcome back to the channel for the spectacular Spooktober October event. Um, so last year I got this really cool, like I love the, the Wreck It journals or Wreck This journal journals because they're really good and if you're ever stressed or depressed you just pick a page and do it and it's great. And um, I only got to do one of these pages last year which was to um, like give eyes to some portraits and then scratch them out uh if you look at last year's playlist you'll see that video it's one of the early ones and i never really did any more in it because i was always really upset that the first load of pages were just different they weren't Pro to me they weren't proper like designed pages and they didn't have anything to do and I thought it was wasted space and I wanted to do nice you can hear me flicking through it in the background because I want to talk to you about this because it's really cool and I want to I'm going to be doing videos on all of these pages but essentially the first couple of videos are going to be just me uh kind of creating the intro to the book that I want so as you can see, when you first open this page, it's uh, got like the bloody hand handprints and then it's got the, the Hauntness journal bit. And I didn't know what to do for this page because I wanted to keep the Hauntness journal bit at the beginning because of course I did, because it's, you know, you want to show what the journal is and what it looks like and all that kind of thing. And I wanted to keep the person's name, Alan Roberts, uh, who did this book. He's also done a really nice The Beauty of Horror coloring book. If you like coloring books, I have way too many of them. Them and I'm actually thinking about kind of slimming down my collection. I need to, in short. Um, but he's also done a tarot deck and a draw your own tarot deck. Sorry, colour your own tarot deck. And again, I'm all for that kind of thing. But I'm making myself not buy more things like this and work through what I have. Um, because it's fun. So this book, this journal is going to be wrecked by the time I've finished it completely and utterly, but it's going to apparently also be haunted, which is good job that I'm a witch then, isn't it? And I know my protection spells and things like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through the first couple of pages as if it was like a book, uh, my book of shadows or a grimoire and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how I would do like a blessing and a protection, but we're going to seal it behind art because that's cool. And I've got sidetracked already because I always get sidetracked when I talk with these because I think they're just fun to just ramble and have a laugh with. So that's what we're going to continue to do because these videos every October that I do, I've tried so many times to just structure them and only do SCPs and only do creepypastas and folklore and all that kind of thing but I forget that the main reason that I do this is because I am a pagan and I regularly forget to connect with my paganism so I used to when I worked in retail be able to cover my head when there was a full moon or a religious festival because I couldn't take the day off um and I now uh, used to track cycles of the moon and things like that and I keep over the last couple of years I've forgotten to do that so I'm using this for that uh, again I've got sidetracked so anyway on the inside this was just a white page and I wanted to do kind of like a missing persons poster maybe or just like a torn and twisted kind of um, piece of paper that you hang on the wall I realized I haven't put any pinholes in the corners but you know what this still looks pretty good and I knew that it was going to be really simple um, and I didn't think it would look good but I'm really happy to say that it does look good to me um, so yes, I put down the, the colour, I kind of drew it like it was a, a sheet of paper, torn, tattered, put little red handprints. Now, I have, uh, only have bright, colourful, sparkly Posca pens. Uh, so this actually glitter and glows, uh, which is kind of funny for a Halloween book. Not just a Halloween book, just a haunted book. Um, and unfortunately the colour has gone through to the next couple of pages, which looks really good actually, but at the same time I'm not going to be keeping it there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm so happy that this came together as quick as it did. Uh, it actually only took me about 15-20 minutes, you know, 16 minutes. Uh, obviously this is going to be shorter because I'm rambling to you um, and I also know that people aren't going to sit there and watch me do it in real time for 15 minutes unless I'm streaming and talking to you, which I might do. Uh, so yes, I've used my Posca pens but I don't have a lot of coloured Posca pens. <laughs> I've got shiny glittery sparkly ones and a black and a white. 
So we used what we had on hand, and I think this is pretty much a good start to the book. I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look anywhere near as photographic as the other page, and I could have done it so much more realistic because I do actually have some blood paint. Um, by that I mean it's a technical paint from Games Workshop. It's gorgeous. I love that paint. It's one of the only paints that I've ever found that actually does look like blood. It's called Blood for the Blood God. So if you're an artist and you do lots of creeper, creeper, creepy macabre art, I recommend that. It's expensive for a little pot. Uh, it's but it, oh god, is it good? It's cheaper than resin as well, I suppose. So there is that. So yeah. Um, as I said, the other one that we have already done in here is the add eyes to the portraits and then we've scratched out the eyes. So on that page, we're going to work on something that's going to be on the left hand side. And I'm also going to work on the back of that page to kind of make it look like it's actually on a wall. Um, because, but we're not there yet. We're nowhere near there yet. The next page is a blank page where we're introduced to the main character in this book which is, what's her name? Gauliana. Um, but I, weirdly, they only draw her face. And then the next page after that is Gauliana's actual, actual intro. So I'm probably going to leave that as her actual intro. So we are going to cover it up. And we're going to create some nice uh, protection kind of spells and things like that that we're going to write in here. And they're ones that you can use together with me if you want to do this kind of thing on your own, come up with your own. Um, obviously I'm going to put up, whether or not you believe magic is real or anything like that, there are people out there that do. I loved, so I used to watch, uh, Anthony Stewart Head do, like, this, um, black magic witchcraft series about where they, uh, interviewed witches and all that kind of things. And one of my favourite lines from the South African Department for Witchcraft, which is a real policing department, is doesn't matter if you believe you need to treat it as if the other person believes and it's true for them which allows you to get into the mindset of some of the people that do nasty horrible things and i don't just mean in africa they do it all over the world there's there's dark witchcraft cults in asia in japan in australia in the uk in america in uh in the amazonian uh, south america they're all over the world it's just I believe that South America is the only one that actually has a police department that is specific for witchcraft. And I thought that was really cool. And I really liked the interviews he did and it allowed me to kind of um, talk, not talk, he allowed me to understand more things about how magic works and how psychology works with magic. And also gave me the line of magic is basically spicy psychology. So. It's along the whole lines of like positive attraction and all that kind of thing. It's a really interesting line of thought and it makes me so happy that they weren't just going, aha, you think you, you're a witch and you believe in witchcraft and magic and, and they forget that less than a hundred years ago, the stuff that we do that's medicine nowadays would be called witchcraft. And that a lot of the herbalists and stuff like that were called witches because they were the, the medicine women. Anyway, I've rambled for a really long time. I have to go now so I can get the next uh, of these pages started. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying Spooktober. If you have any ideas for videos, if you have any ideas for videos, please do let me know in a comment down below and I will see you next time. Take care, have fun and goodbye. Mm -hmm.